What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Sneakerhead on a budget, one of the hardest working sneakerheads on YouTube. Go and give me a like, share, and subscribe. Definitely helps the channel out because YouTube is holding us down right here, budget fam. Damn. Alright, so boom, your boy's trying to get the 2K subscribers. You can help us get it there. If you love this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos like you like today. And let's get into it. So I'm not going to get into the whole story. If you've know, if you seen this previous video, you know the story of my situation that came to the Lost and the Founds. Uh, big update. The order by Nike was canceled. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Stop it. Get some help. So, I had to hook up with my, my good people at Midwest SNS who hooked me up with a great Cyber Monday deal. And I was able to get the shoe at a very, very good price. So, shout out to them. If y'all don't know anything about Midwest SNS, I've done a video on them before. Check them out. I'm going to leave that link in the description below. Mess with them because they're really good people. And shout out to them. I'm probably going to do a lot more videos and stuff coming from them. So, as we get into it, let's get into the shoe. Again, we don't have to go through all of it. We understand there's more situations going on with these lost and founds. Uh, even the Amamanya 4s has been more with that. So I don't know what's going on with Nike quality control, but it ain't been the best end in 2022. So people are getting their pairs sent back or people are keeping the pairs to tell them to keep the pair and get the full refund. I don't know what Nike's doing, but maybe they might be doing a restock. A lot of people say they might be doing a restock. I don't know because every time I feel like someone says they're going to do a restock, they don't. So, I went ahead and got the shoe from my good people over there. So, let's go ahead and get into it because I don't want to waste no time. I already took it out of the box because they definitely protected that box. And it was a little bit hard for me to open it during this video. As you see, I always struggle with opening the box. So, I just already took it out. And this is what we got right here. So, let's go ahead and take it out of the bubble wrap. Shout out to the protect. Can we admire? Can we admire the protection of the box? Can we just shout out to people who do this extra detail? I appreciate that. Other than just getting stuff and the box is all crushed, I appreciate the look. Shout out to that. And then the double boxing, you know, appreciate y'all for that. But we do have this box for the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1s. As you see, we do have the box right here. So let's go ahead and go through the details. You know, I'm a detail guy. Let's go through the details. So if you look at the box right here, it looks like an old box. Now, if you know the meaning of the shoe, it's supposed to be if somebody bought an Air Jordan 1 and it just sat for years. Air Jordan 1 Chicago and it just sat for years and you went to an attic or a basement or you went behind a store, an old school store, and they had it there and they still had it in here. So this is what the shoe quote unquote would have looked like. So as you see, we have some distressed uh, parts of, oh my God, I'm about to drop it. I see. Wait. We have some distressed parts of the box I'm um, going in here as you see we got all the way around um, You see the size right there You boy got a size 12 Size 11 and a half it's so hard to come by y'all I think I get that 11 or the 12 I just I just know it already But as you see with the, the whole distressing of the box As you see there like on the ends And on the top and on the lid That's the whole theme of it um, The cool thing I'm back in is that sticker on the front That says stale, a stale. Oh my god it says sale on there if you can see it up there and right there it says um 64.99 what the price used to be and the sticker moves like you can actually peel the sticker off so it's a great touch i'm a details guy again it's a great touch that this i always thought this was on the box it's not on the box it's a sticker on the box so it's like an actual sale so great job by nike with the details let's crack this off now if you know about this box right here this box is resembling of the air jordan it, i'm i'm having an issue talking maybe because i'm so excited about the shoe but the Air Jordan 1 KO box, and I think I have one right here sitting up on top of me. So similar to this Air Jordan 1 KO box that I have here, as you see, this one's just distressed because of me. But as you see, it's almost the same thing. So shout out to that and that detail right there. As you know, we got that Nike stamp and that sticker on the inside. We have a, oh, shout out to that. We have a... Midwest SNS a sticker right in a sticker. I'm sorry business card shout out to the people right there I was gonna shout them out and look at that shout out to the invoice I mess with that and then as we open the box we have the details a lot of people were talking about this right here This detail is really dope as you see it had it's like an ad like the, the old ads from back in the day You remember those East Bay ads those other ads where it has um, it says like Jordan on sale it says uh, $59.99. I'm $59.97. I'm sorry. I'm just too excited. You got right here $29.99 at this place. 
Nike Air Jordan Supercell as seen on TV. So we have a lot of interesting things with the paper. As you know when I do reviews, I always talk about the paper. So this is really great detail. This is probably something I would, when we move or anything like that, I would probably put this on the wall because I do like the extra detail. So shout out to them for that. And then let's get into it. As you see, we got the regular Degola paper on the inside. And let's open it and get to the shoe. Woo! And I'm excited about this shoe right here. So this is the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found Reimagines Air Jordan 1 Chicago's that created all that fiasco on that damn website that day. This is the shoe that took down sneakers at. And I finally got it in hand. So let's take a look at that right there. The Air Jordan 1 Chicago. And I really didn't think I was going to get this shoe, especially at the affordable price that I got it in. It does come with the extra laces. Comes with the black and white. As you see, it's already laced up with the black and white there. Um, I'm, I think I'm, well, I'm going to say sale. I think I'm going to go with the sale look. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but as you see, there is crack painting on there. It says crack leather on the front right there. Um, the red is fine. Red looks basic. Um, I won't say basic, but as you see, there's crack black on the end. Again, this is supposed to be like if the shoe was just sitting. Um, this, somebody did a review where, I think it was Kais Omar who did a review where he wore these for 30 days to see if, the, if it will additionally crack on these parts, and it didn't. So that's a good sign. It's just the, the part of the leather. As you see <clears throat> on that midsole, well, I'm, I'm sorry, on that side panel right there, as you see, it does still have the cracking. I don't know if you can see it there, but it does still have the cracking on those parts. And then this middle part right here is sale, kind of like the uh, uh, Air Jordan 185, those Georgetown that released. Um, this part has that sale colorway. So again, it just looks like a regular Chicago, just with those little extra details. I think the box brings out the, the more of this, like the more excitement of this. But again, this shoe is fucking fantastic, and I'm so glad to get it in the collection. Um, as you see, the only other Chicago I have is these patent Chicago's from 2003. Um, when was it 2003? 2001, 2003? Um, they stand at the test of time, but they do need to be retired. These things are old, and as you can see, some of the pieces are missing. Uh, the wings logo so yeah these bad boys need to be tired and these will fill its place so i'm so excited to get these what else is going oh my god i just knocked down everything so we do have the extra laces in here which is dope oh here's what i was looking for right here almost do a fit i'm joking so this receipt right here this extra detail i'm telling you I don't know if you, there you go. So it says paid, um, like an old school receipt, the old school invoice. You know, you used to write it down and stuff like that. So this is really dope. Um, it says paid cash. Um, has all that and it has a name. It's really, really cool, guys. It's really, really cool um, that they did this and they put dates on it and everything. So shout out to the Jordan brand. Shout out to the team for putting this together and uh, with all the details, extra detail. All right, Budget Fan, let's give you a closer look at that cracked leather because I'm not sure if it showed on the camera that well, but there you go right there. As you see, that's the Wings logo. Let's go ahead and check out that point right there. As you see, the crack in there. Also on that toe box. Again, I don't know which lace I'm going to rock with. You guys tell me in the comments. Um, look at that detail right there. And then the bottoms, actually. The bottom is here if they were sitting right here, which is kind of crazy seeing that they have the mold issue and you see this part. <laughs> it's a little bit hilarious at that point. But here is the extra details. No, I'm not a writer fan. That is my wife's chair, but it is what it is. She should know better. And that is some of the extra details I see on here that couldn't really get on the video that well. On it, I am a big fan of this shoe and I am so excited to actually wear these in fits. If you want to see these in fits, again, you know where you can find your boy at. Sneakerhead on a budget on YouTube like you are right now. Sneaker on a budget on Instagram. Um, also, The Real Mike Peasy on Twitter where I'm posting things every day. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate this shoe from coming in. Thank you, Midwest SNS. Before we leave, you know I got to do the smell test. Hold on. Ugh, I love that smell. I love that smell. And this is the shoe, y'all. So give me your thoughts. Cop, drop, wasn't feeling it. You already got the 2013, I mean, 2000, was it 2013? 2013, 2015 pair. And you're cool. You don't really care. you rather them do a regular Chicago, not with the, all the extra stuff on it. Let me know in the comments. I appreciate y'all. Was this shoe hard to get for you? Did you cop on the initial drop? Did your pair get canceled? Did your pair get mold on it? Thankfully, I'm looking at this pair and there's no mold on it. So, shout out to you guys. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Hope you love all of my shit, I hope you love all of my shit